Hey everybody, welcome back to our couch conversation. I quite liked it when I had the couch <laughs> to myself, but you know, you're all right. I'll keep, I'll keep them around. This is, this is Thacinda Hart with Keller Mortgage. Yeah, Sandy McDuffie with Keller Williams. Yeah, there you go. look at that, see, see what we did there. Hey Dustin, I have this client mm -hmm. that has elderly parents that really don't have a lot of income right now mm -hmm. and she wanted to get a house for them okay what 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 would you suggest in that scenario so actually believe it or not with Fannie Mae guidelines that client can actually purchase a home you know as a primary residence right without actually living in the property right we have to document that their parents can't afford the house right they don't own something already and like they can afford the rent. Yeah, like they, you know, let's let's say they even work, right? So okay. we'll get a pay stub, and maybe they don't make that much money in Social Security, and it shows they couldn't afford to buy that house on their own. Then that client could actually purchase it using primary residence rates or lower down payments, and then have their parents live in there. So it's a great way, to, you know, to buy something almost like a rental property, right? What with not the rental property rates or the down payments. And then once the parents have lived there for at least 12 months, you know, they can do whatever they want with that property. They could turn it into a rental property. That's, that's totally fine. So a lot of different ways to structure it. And another way that some people are buying numerous properties, right? Without a lot of money down, like you said, building generational wealth building generational and helping out your parents that helped you out with that kitty loan we talked about in the last one. So all comes back full circle people, all right? Love it. Thanks, guys. Thank you.